Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome to a brand new video. Now I know some of you might only just be getting your Android 10 updates, but you know the world of tech never sleeps and we're already looking forward to the next generation, which is Android 11. The first developer preview has been released. So today we're looking at 10 core features that may just be about to drop onto your Android pocket computers from around September, October time, starting with, of course, the Google Pixel line. So the first feature is one called Bubbles. And as it sounds, it is basically where you'll be able to suspend certain social media chats in little bubbles scattered around your display. The intention of this is to keep some of your more important chats easily available on your display in your line of sight. Let me know whether you think this is a feature you would use. I'm not so sure for me personally, but I'm sure it'll be very popular. Staying with social media, it seems that the notifications is getting a bit of a revamp as well. And when you swipe down from the top, you'll be greeted with a specific section based around social media and your chat apps. The likes of Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook will all be in the top section. But also underneath, you'll have the rest of your notifications, email, sports apps, etc. Now, I do like the idea of having clear and obvious sections for specific styles of notifications. I just hope they don't go overboard and turn it a little bit iOS 13 where everything's just a, a jumbled notification mess. Now, very quickly, if you're enjoying this video so far, a sub will be amazing. We're trying to hit 1 million by the turn of the year. The next one is a fairly minor tweak, but a great one if you are a keen traveler. Because according to the guys over at XDA developers, buried within the source code, it hints at an airplane mode update where when selected will no longer disable Bluetooth as well. This is something that drives me crazy whenever I go to airplane mode on my phone, it disconnects Bluetooth, you have to reconnect with your headphones for example, it would be a real welcome addition. The next addition is a fully integrated screen recorder mode. Yes, you have third party apps that do the same sort of thing currently right now, but it would be much better to have one that's native, not littered with ads and watermarks, etc. Along those lines, it seems that Google are also looking to natively include a new extended screenshot function like we've seen from the likes of OnePlus and Samsung. And again, I love that feature on those devices. So to have it native again in stock Android would be a great addition again. Now, the sixth feature is a very interesting one and something that was actually rumored to come with Android 10. But now fast forward a year, it looks like we might finally be getting it. And that is, of course, scoped storage. It looks to optimize privacy and the speed of memory reading. Basically, your device will create a second folder for files created by an individual app. Also, other apps will be restricted from gaining access to that data, making your phone again more secure. I don't know why it took me seven seconds to come up with that. Seven seconds away. Too much? Probably. Apologies. And talking of privacy, it seems the whole of app permissions is getting a facelift too as Android 11 will give you greater control to decide when and how certain apps gain access to your camera, your microphone, and your location. Now, this will be a great new feature, especially considering the sheer amount of cases there have been in the tech world about apps monitoring us, etc. <coughs> Facebook, allegedly. I'm saying nothing. Google's version of Apple AirDrop has also been rumored in Android 11, and it's something that's been so incredibly popular on Apple devices. And now with the S20 range, we're seeing Samsung do something pretty similar. So to have it not natively baked into Android 11, I think Google would be missing a trick. Two quick fire features to end, improved dark mode, which is compatible with far more apps. And apparently Android 11 will give app developers the chance to monitor whether your phone is taking internet connection from Wi-Fi or 4G or 5G so that they can actually optimize the app accordingly, especially if you're downloading things, for example, that'd be really handy. Now, of course, we expect to hear far more from Google at their IO event between May the 12th and May the 14th. So I'll do a big update video as soon as that's happened. And I'll be tricking out information probably on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave them somewhere linked here. For all of the latest and greatest information about Android 11, as soon as it drops, you will know. Let me know in the comments which of these features you like the sound of and which features you would like to see in Android 11 that currently isn't available in Android 10. Like this video if you liked it. Sub to the channel if you want breaking tech news, unboxings, reviews. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Just what you want